Thank you for joining us. Once again, we present Mr. Zavol Grand Pressure Group coming out to address the masses on the current situation in UAAG Grant. Thank you for joining us. Good news live update. Consider to subscribe and turn on the bell for notification. Um, good morning, this platform. Um, I just want to leave this voice note to to address this um, very platform. Actually, I know I have an anger management um, issue, which um, sometimes I think I'm working on it, but sometimes it overcomes me. This is who I am. Uh, it's not that I accepted it like that. I'm trying to see if something good will come out of me better than always being like this that I am. Actually, yesterday I exited from, from many platforms, many platforms, including some of our own. I see the opportunity for me to exit from many social media platforms and I grabbed it. And this platform happens to be one of them. I was angry yesterday. And um, it's not that I'm completely calm now, but many people have called. My voice note yesterday that triggered um, all these responses from the masses was directed strictly to somebody. And that person have gotten the message. And that person is supposed to Ken. And he has gotten the message. Like, remember, like as I usually say, I've said it before, if a house has problem, we only, in Africa, we normally put the blame on the father of that home. That is why we are who we are. We normally point finger at the head of the house. That is why sometimes I'll put my anger whenever you age some, something is going wrong in new age i'll place my anger on the head of the house who is as well the father of the house so um like most of you that settled down to read that my to listen to my vn yesterday it's actually not your message although i respond through i respond i send the message through the public because the rumor came through the public. The allegation is not more a rumor. The allegation came through the public, and I have to send that through the public again to get to where the rumor is coming from. Because there is no fire without smoke, or no smoke without fire, any which one they say. If I would have been called, or we would have been called, that we had some certain from the person somebody like obiungwabo that started making some write-up brenda and then um, kendra that started making some write-up or agitating and threatening us from behind if they would have called us all of them had our contact and they are talking to the we, we are in talking time if they had called us and said that we had this we had that we had this uh, we had that about you people why is it happening like this we would have come out Come to them direct and we'll explain things to them if need be to the best of our understanding but unfortunately when indirect right up was hitting the public we don't know that we are the one they are referring to and when we get to know it's when somebody start calling us that is it true that people are seeking for this people are doing this and the only person that we have business with is the head of the house which is supposed to care is the head of the house that we have problem with so if now what we normally discuss have within us is now bringing some kind of um, smoke from outside. So we don't have, although yesterday he called me, that if anything happened, why didn't I call him direct? If it would have come to me direct, I would have called him direct. But it came to the public. I have to send it back to the public so that it will follow all the channel that it follow before it get to me. It will follow all those channel again and get to him. That is who I am. And then believe me, this is not the way I used to relate with Grant Handler. Everybody knows me. The people have my record. I don't play with Grant Handlers. I don't respect Grant Handlers. I don't relate with Grant Handlers. I don't visit Grant Handlers. I don't call Grant Handlers. Everybody in my platform 
AGPGN went to Mama Supreme's oh. office. Some of them even lived there for almost six months. My brother is part of those people. I never, I have never one day visited Badagri, and I'm a subscriber. When the time comes, everybody see the way I treated her matter. I don't have respect for Grant Handlers that much. My people became an errand boys for Tio. I never visited him before. The second time I visited him was the last time I visited his office. And was this last was the time I recorded him. I don't relate with him even when the rest of my comrades are working for him. All the grand handlers. And you see the way I treat with I relate with those people. The only grand handler I have ever been close to, talking to, relating with is Apostle Ken. I don't know how many times we have sit down in a round table facing each other, eating from the same table. I never know how many times. I don't know how many times I have visited him. I don't know how many times I have defended him. Defended UAG and have never defended any grant this thing before. So believe me, if I still say that I am pissed with what happened, I have a reason to. As I have reason to defend him, to stand with him, I still have reason to air my anger when it ha when it comes. That is human being for you. And remember, I'm an agitator. I have always told you people. And this time, it's somehow a little bit personal. Because I see somebody calling me that we are the reason behind some certain problem, which we feel is a conspiracy. And we are not called to ask directly, only for the public to start calling us one after the other. So this leads to the anger of yesterday and why i always stand with apostle ken defend him and as well stand with uad is because it's different from everything i have ever experienced in every other grant this is not who i am this is not the way i relate with grant adlers but apostle ken is different why because of what is there there is uad money and the money we are still pushing and praying that it come to us. Most especially, we are in great expectation. This week, since we said this month, this government will definitely happen by the mercy of God. So this week is our biggest hope. And we are still believing God that if it cannot be rounded up this week, it should start this week. And it will definitely be so by the mercy of Allah. But I hate to be pushed to the wall and I hate to be called a coward and I hate somebody to feel like there's nothing I can do no matter how weak I am I will still make a move that is the kind of person I am so those that are not pleased with what happened yesterday I am deeply sorry I am deeply sorry the message came to through the public to get to us and I send a response through the public to get to the source where it's coming from and as well, um, those that are sending threat messages to us, I want you to know that um, I don't have any problem with whatever you want to send or whatever I want to say. I only have problem with the grant handler. And why I don't have much problem with Apostle Ken concerning UAG is because I am in the picture and I know how it goes and I know his involvement and I know it's not all his fault. He's trying his best. But I don't want greed to overshadow what we are fighting for. That is just all, I'm all I stand for. Thank you and God bless you.